filtration fluid. This is the fluid that's used to rinse everything in here. And it actually goes out through a tubing and it's collected in a waste container at the bottom. Okay? So, and you will know if, 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 it's back, if it backs up, it's gonna mm -hmm. overflow right there in the reagent well here. If this overflows, then you see how this is so tight? It gets to the covers and then it contaminates all of your wells. So if you're not paying attention and it overflows, then you, when, if that happens, then you have to change everything. You're gonna remove and clean it. Now, if you look in these reagents, there's a little, see there's a little spinner in there? It's a magnetic spinner. It's in both the PT and PTT. See it's spinning in there? Oh, Alex didn't put one. So I'm like, yeah. 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 Look at this one, Alex. Look at this one. Alex, um, see that? Don't lose them because <laughs> it's hard. I think he has more, but um, don't lose them. He didn't put one in there. He's supposed to put one in there also. So you got to get him for that. All right, so those little spinners, so what does that do? Keep mixing it, right? So it does, right? if you leave it, it settles out. Remember I told you, this, these two little reagent containers are refrigerated. So it stays cool and uh, it keeps it. Calcium will not spoil, so uh, calcium you don't need to refrigerate. Nor is there a spinner in there, okay? All right, so wherever the machine is, if you want to stop the machine and you want to bring it back to the main, the, the start of the program or the main screen, is you press stop and enter. Okay. Okay. So stop enter brings you. So it brings you. That's the main screen. So the main screen is asking you, right? So to select what tests you want to do. So you can do a PT fiber engine. So, that will, so you will need to have the pool in here, right? <coughs> to do, if whenever it asks, you're asking for fibrinogen, you gotta put the pool because it recognizes it automatically that um, you need uh, fibrinogen. You can just do a PT. Uh, TT is trauma in time, uh, that's not routine. So the one that's highlighted is for what? PT, fibrinogen, <laughs> and APT. So that's the one we usually select. So for PT and APTT. If you want the fiber engine, you put the pool. If you don't put the pool, it's not going to give you the fiber engine. It's just going to give you PT and uh, PTT. All right? There's lots of special tests in this machine. Uh, if we go, if you press program, it brings you into the programming. That you will need to know. Uh, one is the load list. So every time you use this machine, and if I press enter, you're going to see, it gives you nine load lists to start. Right now, how many of them are used up? Two. 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 So you can use those load lists. Okay? So the next one, when we go in and ask you to choose a load list, I will have to choose number three. Okay? So... Uh, So if all of it was, was used up, then if you press uh, enter on the load list, uh, it will allow you to clear it. See that? So it tells you if you press these, that's the up and down arrow. This is, here it actually tells you what to select and what arrow to use. So it's telling me to clear the load list. If I want to clear all the load list, right, to press the up arrow. So I press the up arrow, enter, okay? So you see, it's gone, right? I just, all I did was press program twice, okay? So now the load list is gone, right? If I press, so I'm back to the main screen by just saying pressing program, okay? Uh, another thing that's in program that you always use is the priming. 
right? So all you have to do is use the arrow, go down, see that? To priming, and you press enter. So what it's gonna do is gonna prime all these lines, and the reason for priming is very simple to remove air bubbles, okay? Because there's a pump, you see this is working, it's actually a pump that will actually allows the probe to, uh, to take up and to deliver, right? Specimen and reagents into the carousel for the testing. So you don't want air bubbles. If you have air bubbles in there, then it's not gonna measure the correct amount. So priming will allow for the release. So every time you use the machine when you come in, you should prime it at least twice. And to make sure that you're not seeing any bubbles in these lines. So it takes a couple of minutes to do the priming.